chat, man. What's up, YouTube? What's up to the SoundCloud viewership, man? I think I got 12 plays this week on SoundCloud. If you guys don't know, man, you guys can go to SoundCloud and you can watch this without destroying the battery life on your phone or on your laptop or on your computer. Whatever it is you watch YouTube, you can watch this on SoundCloud. Uh, the link for SoundCloud is below on my Twitch. Um, it's below in my YouTube. So, you know, you guys don't want to risk wasting all your battery watching a YouTube video. Sometimes it is easier to follow along with this podcast, with the video, because we go over Madden games. And you see the beautiful chat right here next to me. That is subscriber only, man. You guys can watch this podcast live Tuesday nights, 7 p.m., man, because of you guys. Shout out my man, Postman Jones, gifting the subs. But shout out to you guys, because you guys are the ones that make this pop and make it exciting. And I'm glad that every Tuesday... We can be joined together. Also, it is Christmas time. NeededGamingStore.com. You can get the We Are Madden merchandise. Man, that is the lowest. Whatever price the We Are Madden stuff is marked down on the website, that is the cheapest I could possibly sell it without losing money. So I believe like this hoodie, the We Are Madden hoodie, you spot me and True Boy, um, this hoodie is probably $15 or maybe it's eight, whatever it may be. It's as cheap as I get, as cheap as I would pay to manufacture it, you know. Now, you can also buy some other needed gaming stuff that may also be cheap, but I do make money from that. But these I make zero dollars from. I never have, never will. And for me, um, I hope all you guys get it. It's a great Christmas gift. We are a month away from Christmas, November. This is the Needed Podcast, episode 57 chat honestly and uh it it was a great week i don't know if it was better than last week chat you guys let me know was this week's madden better than last week's madden because last week we had to be easy and i will tell you this chat i will tell you this every time i watch a Madden game because i'm be let's 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 be honest here chat let's be honest the madden's pretty goddamn boring there's been a handful of games that have been really good the rest Not that great, right? I'm being honest. Not that exciting. Really not that fun. But you know what is fun? Is watching that Be Easy guy. And I'll tell you, ever since Be Easy, that guy is who we watch. We want to see what moves he makes. Why does he walk over here this play? Why does the next play, is he behind the curtain? Why does he take a step forward? Is he feeling like clipboarding? You know, and we always think, what's on his clipboard? Right, chat? You think, what is on his clipboard? You know, and it got pointed out to me, chat. I did not notice this. And I will tell you, Skimbo might be the number one be easy clipboard guy watcher there is. Skimbo said, Debbie, he's flipping through the play call screen. He had multiple signs on his clipboard. Like if he wanted him to be quiet, he had a sign for that. If he wanted to start the game, he had a sign for that. I didn't know this was a play call screen. The be easy is a play call screen. I didn't know that, you know, and it's pretty nuts that now they have, you know, pre pre wrote messages they want to give to the players, you know, so I don't know if you guys are paying attention to the be easy guy when he approaches the, the stage or what he does. Now, I haven't been in a lot of mess. Some of you guys have been there. I wasn't able to make it. Um, So for me, uh, for me personally, uh, I don't know what the interaction is between the new clipboard bays the new clipboard bays are a little bit more aggressive than the old clipboard bay you know chat but shout out to Pavin in the chat um but that's pretty much what i've been watching but this week was good it was a lot to talk about and i wanted to um i don't know what i wanted to say i wanted to you know we probably got two hours of madden here or of, of podcast we want to talk about it you know and, and you and, and what what the hardest thing to do is figure out what I really want to talk about. You know what I mean, Chad? Because there's so many different things that are, you know, so many different games that are worth following, so many different games that are worth uh, talking about, uh, so many different topics to talk about, honestly. I think that's uh, that's one of the things that we have to talk about is uh, just so many different things. And you guys can help me on which games you guys thought were important because I know I have my opinions and they might not be the same as yours. You know, what you guys thought was the most important or, you know, the easiest thing to talk about. Uh, for me, we're going to talk about One Great User. We're going to talk about the Bucks Club Series. A lot of talk about the Bucks Club Series. We're going to talk about uh, Pony and Little Man. We're going to talk about Drenny and Jay. And we're going to talk about Bugs. 
Atlanta Club Series. Now, shout out to Nick Hackle. I'm glad he won uh, because, you know, one thing about us, uh, Nick Hackle is a guy that does his first time on stage. You know, um, and the one thing about Nick, Nick's been in these chats. He's been playing the game. He's been grinding the hell out of the game a lot, man. Uh, and I'm glad that he finally paid off for him, and he really won a whole club. Upsetting Allen, uh, who I don't think we've really seen play that much this year. Um, so a lot of Kevin, Kevin crew is, is looking slim right now. You know, the Kiv, the Kiv crew, them boys, the, uh, Crush is still up here. Obviously, Henry's still there. Uh, the rest of them boys, they got zipped up. You know, lights, what's up? Jay, there he is in the chat. Jay himself. We are going to talk about Jay. Jay did something absolutely inexcusable. Actually, he Jay did about 16 things inexcusable, but one we're going to get to that was absolutely just dumbfounding. But anyway, Canes is there. Okay, okay they're just adding body. People got so many bodies. Yo, can me and Skimbo, yo, Radiance and our Madden crew, bro. He's part of our, our crew, all right? We got like two people, man. We got to start claiming bodies because they just claim bodies every every day. There's the people just adding people to crews and stuff. We, you know, we just over here playing. All we got is me. I'm washed up. Bugs is just lucky as hell. Skimbo's good, and that, that's it. And Clef, but Clef in like five different crews and shit. Little man, what's up, man? You know what I'm saying? Little man, there he is, the Colts Club Series champion. But we're gonna get to little man. First, what I want to do, I'm going to be honest with you, user man game is not entertaining, Chad. I'm, you know, users, I, I don't have any user game film to break down. What I will tell you is this is what I want to do, is I want to put users link in the chat here. I do want y'all to take the time out to follow user on Twitch. Now I will put that in the YouTube description. I will put it in the SoundCloud description. Cause if you, if anything I can remember from the Carolina clubs, first of all, I didn't think anybody was that impressive. User obviously was the best. Uh, came out on top, man. But he didn't run. The one thing I'll tell you about user and against the young bull. I forget who the young bull was, but he looked like he was about eight years old, right? Um, the one thing I learned from that game is that one of the things with the, we talk about passing game and running game a lot, you know, the one thing about the running game is you don't make mistakes. You know, the, the, the worst, when you run the ball this year, honestly, outside of an enforcer, the worst thing that can happen when you run the ball is you lose one or two yards. That is the worst thing that can happen. You know what I'm saying, chat? There is no, there is. There's no no risk, essentially, right? Whereas JD, that's what he said his name, JD. My bad, JD. Shout out to you. I'm sorry. There's a lot of people I watched play today. Congratulations on making it, making more money than I have made this year. And you did your thing. but uh, And you ran the right playbook. Your play your play calling was a little little suspect, you know. Um, but, you know, that's you'll get there. But anyway, my point is this, is that with JD is that he passed the ball. You know, and the thing about this year with passing against... User is just, user is Madden 20. Right, chat? Am I mean, like, that's what user, user is Madden 20. He's going to run the ball, play smart. And he's just going to send seven people at you every single time on defense. Every single time. And the thing is, JD, first drive, he looked great. He made all the right reads. But then we go with the passing game. The downside of the passing game is what, chat? You are going to throw interceptions. And a lot of times what happens when you throw interceptions they're going back the other way. And that's pretty much what happened. You, It's hard to make the right read every time uh, with somebody coming free and somebody sending seven people at you all day. That's why, honestly, I, y'all think it's like a joke. It's a joke, but I really do think the skill gap would be just enormous in this game if there were no running. Now, obviously, that's stupid, and it's not real football, as you guys would say, but I think it's really hard to go out there and pass the ball all the time while one player is just running the ball all the time. Because you're going to make mistakes. You know, you have to play pretty damn perfect. We saw it with Ghost on the podcast last week we talked about. He played pretty perfect the whole game. Made one mistake is the reason he lost. You know, that's pretty much how it is. With the game being so damn short uh, and the run being this powerful, especially with um, Nasty Streak in the jukebox, it's just it's tough to pass every play if you're not super elite, man. I wasn't good enough to do it. JD wasn't good enough to do it. We'll see if, you know... Uh, who who's a pass every play type of person? 
you know, that's still alive in this tournament. You know, we talk about uh, D. Croft. I, I guess he goes into that that mixture. Um, who who else would talk about? Obviously, Skimbo. Who else would be a pass only type of player? You know, Civil. I don't even think Civil would be. And the one thing that I thought was smart about Civil was that he had the running back. You know, he had the running back still. Like he's not stupid to what's hip in the game. So uh, if you did play, if you did blitz him, he could hit that running back flat, get a bunch of extra yards. You know. You know, I don't think Civil was a runner, but he's also not stupid. If you're going to play a uh, pass defense, he's going to run the ball. That's why his scheme was really good, but we'll get into that. Uh, actually, Henry Henry goes in. Obviously, Henry goes in. But it's definitely tough to to, uh, to pass or play. And these guys we're talking about are, like, the best passers there are. You know, so and, and they would succeed no matter how hard it is to pass and so on and so forth, you know. But uh, that, that's just, it, it just, this is an example of what happens – my, my point is, what happens in that game is that, you know, when you pass the ball, you can make mistakes. That's what happened to JD. Made mistakes in the game. The game if you're a runner, the game's always going to be winnable, man. It really is because the game's going to go by so fast. You're never going to be down more than two scores. You know, and I think if you're a passer, you make mistakes. GG's. But shout out to the user. Like I said, there goes his link. Make sure you guys follow him. As you saw, like, for him, uh, just, just full of energy. He's funny. It's between his accent and his voice and his wit is just it's a perfect combination. You and, and and what's crazy is that you guys, some of you guys, it's the first time you got to like hear a user and everything, and just uh kind of I don't want to say interact, but but be amongst him as he plays the game. User is, is like that in pretty much everything. You know, it's always busting jokes and, and being funny and having a good time. So if you haven't clicked his link, make sure you follow him there. Because it is entertaining, and I will tell you, man, as much as a lot of people always want to shit on Twitch, on on Madden on Twitch, Madden on Twitch is booming right now. Everybody's doing really well. All the views are really high. Everything's going well. So, uh, his wit, his wit, DNT, not his width, his wit, W-I-T, vocabulary. It's one of the reasons I'm successful in this talking thing, is vocabulary. If you don't understand that, you know, maybe you need to take a, do another stream, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, that was user. Like I said, nothing really to break down. I'm glad he won. Uh, he's been user been playing Madden a long time. Like when you say old heads, these dudes are old heads. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what user is. So now let's get into the Bucks Club Series. Cause the Bucks, do we want to say it's the best? It was the best, like as a whole. Cause obviously Bulls got lucky as shit, and we'll talk about that later. As a whole, as, the Bucks gave us two good games. How about that? Is there any club series? I'm trying to think of that a full club series that gave us two good games. Falcons wasn't the best. Falcons was just ugh. this was this, watching the Falcons. Ugh, I just Falcons was don't give me Falcons. The Dolphins. I mean the Dolphins. The Dolphins club series was laugh at Madster. Yeah, they gave us two good games though. Yeah, Bugs played great, but I mean that guy really didn't know what he was doing. Yeah, I guess I guess Dolphins gave us two good games. Yeah, the Dolphins sold blocky bad. But anyway, let's go to these games now. <laughs> the only the, the Bucks for me one, I will tell you this. Um, Duke had uh, let's watch this game a little bit. Cause I'll show you guys because this game obviously is. I will tell you I watch all these games. Yeah, listen, I watch all these games, um, and there's, like, three people I really root for. Uh, the, obviously, Skimbo, Buzz, and Clef. Like, those three, like, I, like, legitimately, like, root for, like, like, almost like I'm playing the game, right? Now, uh, so, a lot of, you know, things, a lot of things go into that, you know, and Clef, obviously, uh, We've seen the pitch a million times. Now, as we talk about the pitch, chat, now tell me this about the pitch. Now, one, we can agree he never misses that pitch, right? Never misses the pitch. Okay, this is another question for me. Have you guys ever seen somebody pitch the ball and get a positive play out of it? I'm not talking about, obviously, we don't expect it to be a turnover, right? Never expect that to be a turnover. But at the same time, have you ever seen it work out more than getting to the 30-yard line? So when, when ultimately what I, what I say by saying this is that 
Um, it's just not worth it. Okay, so we got one kick return last year. All right, we're talking about last year. You know, that's what I'm saying. Last year, so last year it happened one time. Uh, I just, but nevertheless, as we zoom in on the clef, now clef ain't, clef ain't, he ain't slick. You see, he let all this shit grow. Clef, first of all, Clef got to be super mixed because he got like white people hair. He he really could get a comb over. If we're being honest, Clef could get the comb over, right? Like he could, and he's not slick because, you know, he let this grow so it could comb out a little bit right here. So he could cover up this wild ass, his wild ass lean back. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. But he grew this, like his hair probably like, you know, that's probably an inch long hair. Like it's crazy, you know. So when you, when, in all honesty, his hairline look like it's here, but it's really like back. You know what I'm saying? It's like back. It's holding on. It's holding on. It's cliffhanging right now. You know what I'm saying? But he ain't slick, cause he, you know, he let it grow out. Cause this is what white people do. Now he actually has the white people hair, you know, where you know he can. He can let it grow out and cover up a little more ground. You know what I'm saying? But, as we are on the topic of hair, my man Duke, his shit is moving. Like, his shit is moving. Like, I, bro, I don't know how, what he, where he got his hair or how he got his hair, but man, his shit look good. His shit look good. And one thing, honestly... You know, a lot of people we talk about. Uh... Now, first of all, I will tell you after Clef Clef loses this game, let me talk. I'll talk about that. Now, Clef loses this game, pretty much on this pass right here. Now, everybody knows this guy will come back, right? Now, so this is I, honestly, I think it's just a little bit early. So Dante Hall never really started coming back to the quarterback, and this is one thing I hate is that Dante Hall is just too short. And, and you see what happens here is that Clef, when you throw this pass, Clef realizes it's going to be an aggressive catch situation. He got to hold on, and he gets mossed. And your wide receiver is 5'8". When you get to this situation, you just try to, like, box him out. You know what I mean, Chad? Like, you try to box him out in aggressive catch because you know it's not going to be open like you want it to be. So he tries to click on, take a step forward with Hall, and try to box out, like, rebound. But Dante Hall is just too goddamn short and too guys too damn small. You know what I'm saying? And he gets the pick and he loses the game. Now I was upset. You know what I'm saying? Because Duke, Duke is the type, you know what I'm saying? He's the type, he always want to get, you know, he always want to tell people that he's good. And I thought, you know, a little bit was he discredited Clef a little bit. And Clef is my guy. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you that right now. Clef is my guy, right? So I feel, and Clef isn't the big, he's not that good at shit talking. I mean, it's like skim on books. And I always feel some type of, uh, like, this is my job. Like, I don't like people coming for my people. You know what I mean, chat? So I was like, at the time, after he loses the game to Civil, I aired him out and said, yeah, you've been good, blah, say blah, but you always laid down. And I feel like I went a little bit too far. You know what I'm saying? And I felt bad because Duke got hurt, and then he wanted to fight me. And I felt like I went a little bit too far. I didn't need to. Um, Clef, you're right. You can cat, but at the same time, that's not your job at the time. You upset, you lost. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, once you lose, you know what I mean, Clef? You don't want to cat. And I feel like it's my job. Like, I'm not going to let my man go out like that. And, and one, I took what Duke said a little bit too hard. He ain't really said, he ain't really say nothing too crazy. He just said Clef only been good for two years. And it really wasn't much of a shout. It really wasn't that big of a deal. But I didn't like it. That's all I'm saying. I didn't like it. That's all I'm saying. He just, I didn't like he said Clef was only good for two years. I don't care if Clef is only good for two months. You ain't just going to say that. And I just, I took it too personal and it wasn't that, it wasn't that malicious. Let me, it wasn't that malicious at the time. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, that Duke didn't mean it that bad. It wasn't nothing crazy, but I aired out Duke. And then he got mad at me and he wanted to fight, which understood because he just lost. So he's pissed. So I didn't. I I wasn't upset that he wanted to fight. I don't want to fight none of y'all. All this and 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 part of and and when, once he said he wanted to fight, um, 
it goes back to that. No matter what I say to you guys, it's all a joke. And I'm sorry if I really ever offend any of you guys. Because I'm going to bust all y'all balls. Like, Bugs is going to get, like, he's going to get roasted ungodly today. It's going to happen. And Bugs is probably one of my best friends in Madden. Bugs. But I'm going to roast the hell out of him. Because that, that's what I do. And I don't ever want you guys to be offended to the point where y'all want to fight. Or y'all really upset. So when that happened, um, I kind of deaded it. I kind of stopped it. Um... You know, because I, I don't really want it to get that far. You know what I'm saying? I really don't want it to get that far. I don't want to be airing people out to the point where they get upset like that. You know, that's that's not what I want. And, uh, you know, that's not what I want this to become. And I don't want this to be. I don't want people to get really upset about it. That's all. So, for me, no, nah, it's not. For me, it's not. It, I never wanted to get like that. So, once that happened, me and Duke talked about it. Uh, and the main thing was, man, the the one thing about Duke that always uh always made uh, I don't like I don't like it goes back to this when you have to tell people how good you are you're really not that good you know when you have to tell people how much you can fight you really can't fight or you, you know what I'm saying or it's just like you know, if you're really that good the one thing about Madden man that after playing this 2K shit for a month the one thing about Madden everything gets proven on the football field everything. So if you're the best in the world, go ahead. It's easy. Just play the leaderboards, play in a tournament. There you go. You don't have to worry about no politics, no nothing. It all gets solved on the gridiron. All of it. So that's one of the blessings we have in Madden. So there's no need to always tell people how good you are. And that's one thing I, I, I you know, always like, yo, just prove it. That's all, you know. And and, and and Duke gets upset about, like, these 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 votes, these, you know, the Twitter polls. The Twitter poll, as I, as Donnie Moore put out Twitter polls today, who's the favorite in each conference, right? And th what it was was who the hell do you know? Because Donnie Moore has maybe twenty thousand followers. That's pretty much who have you heard of? You know, like you're not Duke's not going to win that battle versus Clef. Clef is more popular because he streams. He's been to more events. He's met more people. He's just more popular. That's all these little Twitter polls and shit like that are. Is who is more popular? They don't know who the hell's good. They didn't know who the hell Civil Civil was before this tournament. He looked like the best player in the whole joint. You know what I'm saying? But for me, honestly, the biggest thing was that uh, I don't want anybody to be upset to the point where they want to fight me or anything like that. Because, I, it, like I said, it's, it's all jokes. I'm, uh, I'm all just busting y'all balls. Because, and, and, and it happened today, man. It happened today. It happens every day. I be feeling bad about how I treat some of y'all. I be feeling bad how I be dragging some Madden players. But then every chance you little bastards get to drag me through the mud, y'all do not stop. It happens. I'm through the mud every day. I get drug. So, yes, this is my platform. We're dragging people right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, trash talk always happens, but uh, sometimes it's... I, honestly, I learned a lot in the last year that, you know, that is really not... It's a, it's a, a little bit of... I really just want to make sure everything cool. That's all. I don't want anybody to want to fight or anything like that. So, like I said, me and Duke talked. And uh, anything, anyway. Back to the haircut. Because Duke shit, I mean, I don't know what he did. I don't know what LeBron's situation went down. I really don't know. But I will be honest with you guys. This shit looks good. I, I will be honest. It looks good. I And that that's, I mean, at the end of the day... If a man want hair and he can do whatever he got to do to get hair, God bless it because he looks good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, whatever, whatever vitamins, whatever the hell one I want, the shit looks good. It doesn't look like a wig. I, no, it's, I'm not saying nothing bad. The shit, he looks good. Duke looks good. Can we agree on that chat? No homo, this is not bad. Looks clean. Won't even front, man. So if you and one thing we always laugh at people, man, because y'all don't understand. We're gonna laugh at Clef when he get the baldy, cause his shit was looking crazy. Like we're gonna laugh at that, you know, you know what I'm saying? But for me, if, if a man wants hair, let him just go get hair. Ain't no way there's no toupee. Like, bro, he might have won Erlacher. This shit looks good. Can I? Can we stop fronting? I'm just saying, as a man that's been through the hair struggles, man, sometimes I understand. You just want hair? Go get hair. There's opportunity, man. It's 2020. 
Clef, it is 2020. Yo, after that, after Duke put the paws on you, you know what I'm saying? Gotta go ahead and see what's up. Go see what he got, Clef, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I might be back. I might be back. I might be back, man. I might be back. Oh, we got Pony versus Little Man. But honestly, I do want to talk about Civil. I, I, um, I honestly, Civil looked really good. Uh, the one thing, Ace Twins, I, I've always thought Ace Twins. It, it, this was a formation I ran. I want to say man, like 15. The first year I started playing Mutt, right? 8,000, that's not bad. Listen, it, it came out okay. Or listen, I might listen. Y'all might show. Listen, if Drenny keep doing good, I swear to you, I'm shaving my face and paying the eight thousand and coming out here with with full head of hair. But anyway, as we see the civil diva Ace Twins, like I said, I, I think I ran in Madden sixteen. Um, whatever year Mutt was first there, you know. And uh, the one thing that Civil used more than anybody was this pass lead. Now we saw Ken do this. The one thing that Ken did not have that, you know, Civil has. Civil has the TNC, the little I'm going to throw a hitch out route a streak. That that type of nerd-ass quick passes. You know, and I think the type of nerd-ass quick passes, you know what I'm saying? No, we're not going listen, to listen to any. We, we already listened to the Civil playlist on the intro, man. I would play it for the YouTube, but I will get copywritten. Good pocket step right there. We see the pass lead on the hitch, so instead of getting one yard like we always get on hitches, he goes ahead and gets, you know, three or four yards every time he throws a little smoke screen or something, which is really effective, man. And one thing about this year that we talked about that we realized that makes it really tough to pass is that we see Civil with the jukebox running back. You know, that makes the offense that much better. But the one thing we realized that made a... Uh, um, that makes it hard to pass is that deep blues clouds like one they can tackle and two on top of that uh on top of that is that they react so fast the deep blues or whatever that one they tackle you can't break tackles without an ability and two they run down there and they make the tackle so when you throw a flat pass or you throw one of those smoke screens or you throw a hitch you're really never going to get a lot of yards so it makes it makes not going downfield really tough to do and you have to consistently dot from in the pocket and you don't get many yards underneath passes as we see again a pass lead and i, I guess he's possession catching the dive catch it and you see he got four yards on it which isn't great best but if he didn't have a pass lead he's getting one yard on that because polymile is going to bring him down tackle him so because of the pass lead uh it allows him to whereas most of us would get one yard he's getting four or five so and honestly the one thing about a defensive player I wouldn't give a shit about a route like that. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, they're not killing you with routes like that. On well, this little jukebox, might kill you. But, I'm saying, and one of the biggest dots of this game, I don't know if it was here. Was it here? How to get in the end zone. Was that third down dot? Yeah, there, there it is. Let's see. This one right here. This was a laser. Now, as a TNC, uh, one thing about this. This was pretty much the play of the game, man. Uh, th this was the sequence of the game for me. Because 1-3-4, uh, Civil actually got bluffed twice. He got super bluffed. As he thinks he's blitzing everybody. Bang, Duke drops back into coverage. GG's, not a single soul is open. And Civil got actually a great lurk by Duke. He kind of just baited him with everything. Don't have a mobile quarterback. So Civil got baited. You know, he got baited with the play call screen. And then we come out here again. Fast forward. Same thing. Now, right here, I, I think he's not. I don't think he's blitzing. Maybe when he does that, now Civil changes his whole play up. Now, you guys see that. Look. He comes out of the huddle. His linebackers aren't pinched. So Civil's sending out five, which I would do, too. Then Duke remembers, let me pinch my linebacker. So now Civil says, oh, he might blitz me. So now he goes back to a max protect, max protect little something. Goes with a comeback route and a streak. Now, I, for me, I think he's just trying to he's just trying to seam him up right here. I don't know 
when he could ever throw the comeback route. Uh, Duke's all over. Once again, bluffs him again. He's in full out coverage. Uh, Civil has to throw the ball away. Now, if you're Duke, I mean, maybe you go ahead and blitz now. Because he hasn't blitzed yet. Now, the one thing about cover three, and Civil knows this, everybody in the world knows this, as he sets up all these things in the world, is I've been playing tight my tight the whole year, right? Tight, and, and seams are probably the best thing you can throw to score down here. This is your cover three safety, right? Now, o- although he's over top of this tight end right here, he has to go to his responsibility, which is in the middle of the field, probably around the A in Buccaneers, right? Civil knows that. Now, I didn't think he could pass lead this this ridiculously on this seam. As you see, look, he doesn't take a step that he's going back to the A. And he's able to squeeze this pass with the pass lead and put that thing right in there. Boom. Possession catch to Wilson. I, I, I Luke Wilson, the tight end? Is that who this is? I guess it is. And I thought that that was the play of the game. That was the play that's like, damn, Duke think he's going to be in a tie game. He's going to have the chance to milk it all out. And uh, he doesn't because he scored that touchdown. It's so much easier playing a runner. Like, it's so much easier playing a runner when they, whatchamacallit, when they don't, when you're up four as opposed to when you're up three. You know what I'm saying? When you're up four. Now, this right here was, oh, my God. You know, it's to the, this, it's to the point where, I guess this is three, four, bear. Sometimes when passers go ahead and got a pass. Uh, But when you're up four, it's so much easier to play against a runner. And we see Duke go with the the two streaks. I mean, we couldn't do two out routes, two in routes, two curls. Two curls would have been better for me. You know? But for me, this is like, like, this is what I'm thinking. Is that what look, like, Chad, we all play Madden. We all play defense. Because what I would do here... Honestly, fourth and eight against a guy that can't pass. I would do the I would do the rush seven. I would probably have this dude in a quarter. This dude probably manned up, shade upside, or this dude in a quarter. I'm on him and this dude in a flat. I might be quarter flat. Feel me, chat. If I'm not manned up, I'm quarter flat, manned up here, and I'm I'm lurking. You know, a corner route's not going to beat me. Too much pressure unless he gets enough time. Uh, so if I'm on offense, I would probably put some type of post or some type of out route or in route or curl. Honestly, for me, a curl is not a bad pick right here because he's, I don't know. I don't know. But I I feel like what, what defense would you, like the only, like you would, to put two streaks, you would just be expecting like a yellow zone and a cloud and, and just a yellow zone over here. You would expect all out just underneath zones, which would be stupid for Civil to do because it's three minutes left. He's still up four. You don't risk giving up a touchdown. You know, you can put all deep blues, risk giving up the first down on a curl, but you don't. You never risk giving up a touchdown in this situation on defense, ever, I think. I don't know about you guys. Would you risk? Nah, one, nah if he's in the middle... If he's in the middle and this guy's in a cloud, I, I feel he could hit a streak. Oh, like at the 30-yard line. If he doesn't lurk it. Like, if he goes lurks here, I feel like he could pass lead to the right and get it over here, I think. If that dude's in the middle. If he's in a cloud. If he's in a deep blue, it's GG's. Or he manned up, it's GG's. But it's just it's just a just a wrong... It's just a guess. You know, it's just, it's just like... It's just a dog shit play, dude. Like, golly... You know, two curls, yeah, two curls are in route. But curls really won't get you the first down. Now, this is where Civil knows, man. I Honestly, for me, I, I'm i a pussy. I probably would play safe here. Just get my... Now, this is probably the dot of the... of the Not the dot. The last dot was the one I showed you. But this one was a Stanley Steamer, too. I mean, just a great pass lead. Got his feet in bounds. Uh, in hindsight, if he did throw that in route, that's probably... He could have snapped through that in route. But he threw over his head, man. He knew Duke would eventually... And, you know, Duke got put in a spot where... I mean, he just picked up this blitz so easy. Let's go back to it. Duke got put in a spot where he has to guard both people. You know, just cloud in the deep blue, manned up. 
You know, and he's just a perfect play call for that. He really, honestly, civil. Uh, he gets credit for this because he didn't run anything like this all day. Like this was the first time he ran any type of setup deep down the field. That might be the honestly, Chad. Seriously, do we see him pass any time where it was deep down the field? So he set that up to where it's like, man, I've been throwing hitches, I've been throwing smoke screens, I've been throwing running back wheels, I've been throwing. You know what I'm saying. I've been doing a bunch of different things, uh, and now I'm going to set up a deep play. That was the first time I think he's really passed deep down the field all day. And uh, this is where I would run every single down. He almost tried to pass or wanted to pass. But uh, I, think he, I think he runs every down. Yeah, I, because, dude, did he pass once? No, he had two-minute warning. Ran every down. Now, would any of you guys post that would pass any time down there? Because you're thinking this guy has no quarterback. Well, he has a slow quarterback. He's going to come out here and start running. You know, he's a runner. And this is why, man, I'll tell you, I don't think there's going to be anybody in the final 32 without a quarterback. I feel like you always need a quarterback. Always. It doesn't matter what offense you have. It doesn't matter how much cap you have on your running back, how much cap you have on a lead blocker, how much cap you have on impact, whatever, nasty streak, whatever the hell it is. You always need a quarterback because if you get into these situations and you can't, you know, throw plays and get out of bounds, you know, as we see another stretch right here, tackled in bounds, and this pretty much GG's. I think Duke gets this, though. I don't know. No, Aikman doesn't even have Hot Rod Master. He almost didn't get that as Tyreek Hill comes up with a big play for him. But the clock's running, and, you know, this guy's still running the ball. Like, it's just... You see, this is the only thing that makes it hard to be a runner is you can't score when you're down. <laughs> you can't make a drive down the field, and that's the end of the game. It just makes it so hard to be a runner. I, I honestly don't think you could. You, no one will. will I, I just think it's foolish to not have a running back, honestly, or a quarterback, because there's situations where if you need to get a dull pass to get out of bounds, you need to get some big chunk plays, and, and it's just stupid not to have a quarterback. Honestly, I don't know who Duke had at uh, wide receiver, and I don't know if you guys are even going to have wide receivers, but I, I think, it, like, even with this guy like Clinton Portis, or you have a guy, not Clinton Portis, but say you have Clinton Portis, Say you have Pollard. Say you have some back on running backs. Where you get in a situation where it's a minute left, you don't have any timeouts. Yo, put that running back at wide receiver, dude. Like, he's still fast as hell. He has the jukebox. Hit him on, put him on a drag. Put him on a streak. For real, so put him on a curl. You know, them guys have some types of receiver stats. They're not. I would say Clinton Portis at wide receiver would be better than Gold John Ross, honestly. So, so for me, I, I'd like to see somebody be able to do that. You know, not be that bad. And that restricted in your playbook that you're running stretch with 40 seconds. And although we've seen it work though, so it's hard to really kill people that do that because we definitely have seen it work. So shout out to Civil. I know uh, y'all been telling me about this Civil kid. Yeah, and I, 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 I've been listening. I hear what you guys say. You guys have been and shout out to Journey for the host. I've been seeing what you guys say. You know what I'm saying I've been seeing what you guys say and. uh Y'all been telling me Civil's good. I don't think... I think Civil's on PS... He's a PS4 guy. Shout out to Journey. Are we on All-Star Team Up tonight? That's the real question, Journey. Um, but, that being said, um, like I said, I think everybody should have a quarterback. You shouldn't not have a quarterback. Have some weapons on offense. Never want to be in a situation where your offense is, you know, kind of, you know, restricted just to running the ball. But, uh, what I was going to say, um... Yeah, so congratulations to Civil. I know uh, he been playing at it a long time. Obviously, looked really good passing the ball. We're going to see how well that Ace Twins holds up against a lot of pressure. Without a mobile quarterback, I do think it's it's really tough to um, pass. I really do. You know, I really think that's what's going to be the, the end for these guys. It's just pressure is going to – I think with an escape – this is how the game is. With escape artists, I think pressure – you want to see people blitzing you. I think escape artists is meant for the blitz. You know, and if these guys can keep passing and taking those hitches and taking that running back wheel route and taking the little check downs, little dump downs the whole game, then God bless them, man. Because we say all the time, that's what makes a good passer, the one that's able to go ahead and make those passes and just take them all game, honestly. And, you know, shout out to Life Thief with a two month streak. I appreciate you guys. Um, now, let's talk about Pony Montana. Now, naturally, 
when a streamer is in in when a streamer is in the tournament, we root for the streamer. Because the one thing I the one thing that I uh, equated it to as I was watching Pony play was like you kind of know this person like this is like one of your boys even though if you never met this person even maybe never talked to this person when you watch a streamer essentially man that guy is you kind of know that person y'all know what I'm saying Chet like you get it like you understand like you have a relationship with that person you know what they like you know what they talk you know how their their moods are how they play like everything about them you know what I'm saying. So, for me, uh, it's always good when a streamer plays. So, obviously, you're kind of rooting for little, for uh, Pony. But I'll be honest. I'm a little man fan. I was kind of rooting for the little man. It's my guy. You know, uh, I, I'm a fan of his. I'm a fan of his theatrics and how he always talks shit. He a little goofy. He a little lost. He got more than a couple screws loose in, in the brain. I'll be honest with you. Little man has a couple. His screws, are they're, like, they're loose. Be honest. Duke. His screws are loose, but I will tell you this, and it is undefeated chat. When you dance, you lose. When you dance, you lose. Top to Dante, and he'll pull it in. And hey, Pony. Down, Tatiana. When you dance, pinning the PA team will be tied. He wants, I'm winning. And right nope. When you dance, you lose. When you dance, you lose, chat. You lose. Especially, especially if you dance into a Blake. When you dance into to, to a blue face song, come on, man. Nah, B. Nah, you can't do a dance like that. As we see Pony in overtime. Now, this was a great game. I'll be honest. This, chat, we had not talked about this game. We're talking about it now. But this is this is borderline one of the better games so far. Yeah, Lil' Man was not comfortable. And I talked to Lil' Man this weekend at the Nerd Street Gamers $1,000 Man tournament this weekend that we had. And we talked about this game. He said, I didn't know what to do. He's like... W, I didn't, I didn't know what to do. He's like, he missed it up. He said, he missed it up. He missed it up. <laughs> he missed it up. <laughs> I was like, yo. You know what I'm saying? So that that's how he was this weekend. That's what he was saying. And he said, and I said, bro, you really was going to run cover through cloud every play, huh? And he was like, yeah, I just, you know, I just. Look at him. Like, look, this is a face of a man that does not know what to do. Like, literally, he, th is this not the blink, is this not the look of a man, right here, we already chat, what, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, the, cover three, cloud, yeah, ah, uh. <laughs> like this, like, look, he don't know what to do, he ain't talking, when little man ain't talking, he losing, I'll tell you that right now, chat. So, you know, Pony can end the game with a, with a touchdown. Uh, he was passing so well out of this. I don't know why he ever ran. You know what I'm saying I don't know why he ever ran the ball out of this set. Honestly, you know, and that was two streaks. Oh, he got baited that time. Now, I don't know why he called that call. I don't. I mean, Jesus, he tried to. Dante Hall sucks. I'll tell you that right. Da, Dante Hall sucks. Now he went to this play here. To now, little man hasn't blitzed in five quarters. Ah, and we go to the opposite here, chat. Remember we talked about Civil and where his where his streak was? Right? Where his streak was. Now, you have to know which... When you're playing against cover three and you're seaming it up, chat. Now, you think I'm kidding. You have to know which one of these safeties has the middle responsibility. Right? Now, on this cover three cloud, which Little Man has ran every single play since, like, the first quarter. Right? This guy is going to be actually you I don't know he obviously he could flip it but this guy is going to be the middle safety. Now if this guy was the middle safety we could seam him up right here kind of like Civil did. Now he's a little bit further away so it's going to be a tougher throw and obviously he doesn't have that pass lead thing that Civil had, but you could seam somebody up. Now what happens here is that this guy is the middle one. One reason why cover 3 is good is because it has a cover 3 but it's on a safety it's not on an outside guy. You know what I'm saying chat? Whereas if this was cover three 
And this guy was the third. You could probably still see him on that side. You see his streak runs right down the middle. Not even none of these are even close to open. And uh, P Pony needs to throw the ball away. So he wasted a play running the ball. He wasted a play with that call. Now he has a play. Now he got to score a touchdown. And what does Pony go to? It looks like the, the you know every runner's favorite pass. Once again, cover three cloud boys. I hated that play too. Why did I hate this play? Because you got everybody going to the side. Most of the time when people run the running back wheel, they'll have a post going back over the middle. So you can't do that. Now this is decision time, chat. Now you guys chat with me. You guys talk with me. Fourth and one, what do you do? Do you kick? Do you go for it? What do you do? Now Pony decides to kick. I'm a man, I'll tell you this, man. If I'm if I'm busting down, if I'm busting down in Tatiana's. If you're busting down Tatiana's, I don't know if you can kick that. You know what I'm saying? You can't do busting down Tatiana's and then, then kick off. And I'll tell you what you can't do. You don't got to get a stop if you get a touchdown. K-Mac, you win the game. Now, obviously, we know Little Man runs his kickback. But I want you guys, I want you guys to watch Pony's user on this play. Because let, 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 let's come home real quick. Real quick. Now, honestly, I would kick too. But since it didn't work out for him, it's easy to talk about. Well, come on. We've all played mad. When you kick the ball off, right? And it doesn't go to the doesn't go to the up back. It goes to Tyreek Hill. What goes through your mind, chat, when that happens? Does it not turn into a oh shit situation? Because it goes through my mind. It's oh shit. Right? Oh shit. Like, you got to play a little bit harder when the ball goes to Tyreek Hill. Right, chat? You have to lock in a little bit more. It's an oh shit situation, right? I don't like oh shit situations. You don't like oh shit situations. Pony doesn't like oh shit situations, right? When the ball goes to uh, Tyreek Hill, right? It's a oh shit situation. So, you have to be on your A-plus game. You have to then... Not not be, you know what I'm saying? I'm just chill. Uh, you know, it's not the same kickoff. You got to bring your A-plus game for the next three seconds. Right, chat? As long as, as, as y'all are with me, I'll continue. I want to make sure y'all are with me. Right? I just want to make sure y'all are with me. Just so y'all, you got to bring the A-plus game. Because we're going to watch it what Pony does when it's A-plus time. That's all I want y'all to do. We're just going to watch Pony's user. He went for the double strip. The double strip. Now, I will be honest. One of the problems with the game, this man does have secure tackler. And, bro, I, maybe it's because he went for the strip, right? But, bro, I... I feel like you gotta be this gotta be a scary tackle. I feel like he didn't bring he didn't bring the scary mindset here. Right, chat? That's what I'm saying. I feel like for me, I'm running. I'm like, oh no, I can't get blocked. I can't get blocked by him. I'm looping around him, which he does. You know what I'm saying? The strip going for the strip kind of killed him. But honestly, it wasn't even that strip. Cause to be honest with you, I don't know how uh damn, I, I gotta just play it. Fuck. I can't hit back on the stage. I don't know how he didn't get that first strip, really. It's really the second one. Why are we doing the second strip, chat? Because he didn't get that one. But, you know, man, he, he could be in this play right now. Right, chat? He could be in this play. He could be in this play. But he said, nah, I'm going to go over here and strip this dude over here. <laughs> He's swimming again. He underwater again. So we went for the double strip. Look, look, look. He's back underwater. GG's. And number five fought. Yeah, I think I think you got to click onto this guy and run him away too. Yeah, if you take this guy and, and like, if this guy right here, you just click on and move him back, run away. Let people catch up. The biggest thing in these situations, the biggest thing in these situations is 
you have to let people catch up. Because if he runs straight, nobody's going to catch him. But if you make him slow down, change direction, you know, your app keys or your power models can come help you. And, uh, yeah, Pony, like I said, obviously every kick return is lucky. Every single one's lucky. So you can't really get that mad. The user could have been better. It wasn't brutal, but it could have been better. That's all. You know what I'm saying, chat? That's all. Warp strip specialist. So it definitely was a really entertaining game. Uh, always root for the streamers when they get there. Good to see Pony on the big stage. Um, probably learned a lot, man. I learned a lot. Watch, that was probably the best I've ever seen Jumbo. Honestly, it was a pretty shitty defensive job as well. Shot to Henry in the chat. Yeah, a, a kick return is always bad ending. Um, it was exciting, but uh, always bad ending. You know, and, and the chat probably loves the exciting part. You know, me, I don't really love the exciting part that much, chat. You guys let me know what you thought. Did you guys like that game? Where did that game rank so far? Honestly, I think Duke and Clef game was really good. I think Duke and Civil had a good game. I think both of those games were good. Obviously, D. Croft and Fancy was good. Wesley and J. Mills was good. Let's see, what would it... I don't think any of the Dolphins games were that good. Even Blocky and Master wasn't that good. What's some other good games that we saw? Um, Bugs versus this, uh, the dude, I guess, was good. I, you know. Yeah, the field goal block ending for six. I mean. Uh, I didn't think that guy was that good, D. Croft. That, But we'll get to that. So, shout out to Lil Man for winning the club. Uh, I believe this Lil Man first club. Uh, we sparked the, They sparked the discussion about top ten, Lil Man top 10 Madden player ever. Um, I don't think it's a chance Lil Man's top 10. I don't know. I don't really know. You know, it's not my place. People, the thing with top 10, you know, people know more about like before Madden 08 than I do. You know, um, you know what I'm saying? I, for me, uh, before Man 08, I really don't know. As my phone is ringing. I really don't know. Um, I really don't know Matt before Man 08 that well, honestly. Uh, you know, so I, I really can't talk about all these other people. You know, so I, I really, and I think once you get, uh, once you get past the top five or something, that's kind of opinionated. So I don't know. Um, yes, Skimbo, it's on the list. This is the next topic on the list. It's something I will definitely talk about. You know what I'm saying? We will talk about, uh, but I just want to talk about Lil Man. I think, uh, I think being top 10 is pretty much, I think the, the only list that matters is, Who's made the most money in the history of Madden? You know, it's still problem, probably for sure. I think problems probably you know top as one is. I think it's over a half million dollars for problem, right? You know, you know, where would I rank myself in the top Madden players ever? I, I, I'm not really that rankable. Probably thirty or something. I don't know. I really had two years of competing that were good. You know, that's all. I really didn't compete that much back in the day because, honestly, between me, I, I didn't want to spend no money. I didn't want to spend no money to travel. It wasn't like it is for me now. You know, back then I played, man, I loved it. Online I played a lot. It wasn't online shit 10 years ago that there are now. Before VG, I don't think there was anything online. Everything was like go drive. I wouldn't drive to Harrisburg, which is like two hours away. I wouldn't go spend $200 to go to a man tournament. You know? I, so, for me, you can ask Vilma. Like, Vilma, no, we was always tough. And he would want to go play in them. So, I'm like, no, I ain't spending my $200. You know? So, for me, I mean, if I played there and, like, actually wanted to play in them tournaments and really wanted to, like, grind Madden back then that much, uh, I probably would have did a lot more. But I really didn't know about it to the point where I wanted to play. It wasn't Madden. It wasn't, we weren't Madden back then. Like, it wasn't my life like it is now. It was just something I was good at, honestly. Something I played with my friends, honestly. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't travel. I was chilling. I, if it was, a, if it was a Madden challenge, I went to the one in Philly. That's all I did. Got popped. 
Got popped in the second round of 08. I played somebody good. Uh, 09 got popped in the first round. So, like... No, top man at my Jones, I ain't shit. But for real, yeah. It's, well, now that tournament, the one I lost to Chuck Hollywood was actually like the final 16 of Players Bowl. It was actually, that was actually a good tournament that I won. That was when I was good at Madden 08. I should never lost that, man. No, for real. I just, people have been grinding Madden longer than me. I really didn't start grinding like competitive Madden until it was, you were able to do it at home. I think that opened up the, the door for anybody. You know, let me just grind this shit at home. And that's when it was like, all right. And man, 16, 17, 18, I, I still think I'm hell at the game. You know, even now when I don't, I don't grind about all that. You know what I'm saying? You know? So, I, and and honestly, if you don't make no money being top, I want to be top 10. Whoop the fucking dude. There's no Hall of Fame. One day we're going to have a, I'm going to make a Hall of Fame. We gonna, I'm going to send people trophies. We're going to send them little footballs or controllers or some shit. That's one thing I want to do one day when I get older and not play man as much like, you know, make the Hall of Fame, make the all-time list and shit like that, for real, for real. But at the end of the day, the MC era is only one. Li- All you gotta do is look at the money list, then that, that's the only list you really gotta short out, honestly. But let me talk about Disney. Let's talk about the Jags Club Series, cause this is another game I got brought up. Where are we at here? Oh, I got the Duke game up. All right. All right. This is the only other game I wanted to watch on YouTube. This is Jay versus Jacoby. Now, let's be honest. As we start this, this was probably the most... This was probably the most uh, anticipated game of the, of, the, yeah, of the club series. At least of this... At least of this round. This was the most anticipated game. Am I right when we say that, Chad? You got to agree with me. This was the most anticipated game. Now, I will tell you, as Shakobi came in here and said, Journey has the best run plays ever. Now, Jay, I don't know what planet we're on right now. Like, what? Like, what? I don't know how much mana y'all played. But for my entire existence of life, I am trying to click on this player as much as possible. Now, I know Jay plays a lot of squads where, like, there's another person that could be on this person, you know. But for my life, I I am going to either click onto this person or die getting clicked on a D-tackle, right? Now, this is really, honestly, now, this is the difference in the game. This is when you talk about Drenny, who we just talk about top 10 player ever, and fucking Jay. This is literally the... And I don't know what happens on this drive. I forget. But this is literally the difference. Journey clicks... You don't make this... My old ass is making this click on right here. i am be honest. I'm clicking on that person. To not even try... Now, Journey, I blame it. Why is this guy not playmakered up? I believe he playmakered him earlier. And he couldn't playmaker him up anymore. So this is when the Journey activates. The, the, see? He's playmaker. So he can't move. And you know, this is where Journey... Drenny's fucking Disney luck activates right here. Oh, I guess he sent them. And look, and then he just, oh, I'll run for you, Drenny. I'll run for you, buddy. Don't worry, the Disney DNA, just I'll run for you. He could have stayed right there, but he'll run for him. And I, I mean, so <laughs> Jay stayed on Appy this long. He stayed on him this long to not make this tackle. <laughs> Bro, he was committed on staying on Appy. I, Henry, I agree one million percent. We will talk about that as we go. So that's just a play that I, if I was if I was uh, if I was Jay, I would have clicked on that dude. And, and that's that's going to be the difference of the game is that Journey made uh, an exceptional play, and Jay uh, wasn't making those type of plays, you know. Now Shakobi made it seem like Journey just had the greatest run game since the Lombardi Packers. Journey said Shakobi came out here and said Journey had. The Lombardi Packers run scheme. All right, we can't, uh, if he clicks on, does that guy Nick? Like, bro, you can't. Yeah, but you gonna make at least make Trini throw the ball all the way across the field. He has Philip Rivers. He can't move in the pocket. Why would you even send a spy against Philip Rivers? Well, yeah, Shakobi made it seem like yeah, that ass. He really he had the Lombardi Packers 
run game. And to me, it looked like some the same shitty Oakland stuff I've been seeing all day. No, he tried to glitch him. He didn't glitch him. He's just trying to glitch him. Maybe he did glitch him. Yep, he glitched him. Well, not really. He just, once again, Jay, quality user right here from Jay himself. Runs into the line, gets blocked. So, Jay had a pretty bad first drive, I'll be honest. Yeah, but bad first drive. But he recovers. Now, I'll be real. As you guys know, you know, uh, for me, um, I was excited to see what Jay was bringing out, Chad. Were we not excited? What is Jay's offense, right? What was, I mean, what was Jay's offense? What was he going to bring out? How many nasty streaks? How many cheating ass plays can he run? Was that not what we were thinking as a, as a Madden community? What the hell can Jay run? Now the first play, he goes through this wildcat, and I'm like, all right, this shit sucks. Now I will tell you, the moods of being a fan of Jay, it was a roller coaster. At one point, I thought he was the best player ever. At other points, I thought he was awful. I'll tell you what, it was a roller coaster. As we see, you know, just the DDA, Drinny DDA of Shazier just hit sticking the hell out of somebody. Surprised we didn't get a fumble right there. As we see, Jay is going to cook up a dot. And I'm saying, damn. We see Joe, Joe Thomas on a flat route. We liked it. Joe, kick it out to Joe Thomas. Let's see if he can make a play. But he kicked it out to Pollard. Got some love from Joe Thomas. And we're going early. Now, I will tell you what. Jay loved this little squiggly route. Now, B, I know a lot of passers. I have a lot of friends that are passers. We have never, none of my friends have ever came to me and said, yo, you got to check out this squiggly route. It's tough. Never. In no formation. But I sat down and said, this squiggly route might be tough. I had to see. I had to see, chat. The squiggly route might be tough. I, I didn't know. But like I said, I know some passers. They have never came and said, the squiggly route is tough. And I will tell you, this squiggly route was on the field a lot. We saw a lot of the squiggly. We saw it. It was squigglies all over the field. Right? Squigglies. <laughs> so, for me, I wanted to see if it was tough. Nice dot. Now, I want to I wanted just give you guys, just, just give you, I want you guys to just feel how he made this read. He made this read like a pro. Big dot. Saw it open, took it, didn't think twice. And I want to get back to that, chat. I want to get back to the saw it, didn't think about it. Took it. I want to get back to that. The squiggly. Journey saw the squiggly. As we see Lamar Jackson. And I will tell you, I felt like look, I felt like Jay's Lamar Jackson was a little slow. I felt like he could have had some more touchdowns. Now I'll be honest. The Jay versus Journey was the ultimate Disney versus anti-Disney. You know what I'm saying? That's what it looks like. You know what I'm saying? Like Drink. Journey looks like Disney. He's got a star on his chest, you know. Jay looks like, you know, we just found him on the street and said, let's go. He looks like, you know, like a paid actor. They want to just throw him in there. But see, he plays man. So I was rooting for Jay. I want to see it get done. I got to see it get done. And here we go, chat. This marked an historical time in this game. Where are we at? Second quarter. The second play of the second quarter. Here we go, chat. Or one in the second. Whatever. Four minutes left in the second quarter. We see Joe Thomas doing what Joe Thomas does. And I want you guys to pay attention to Drenny after this play. Pay attention to Drenny's body language. Pay attention to him seeing Joe and running from Joe. Look at Drenny's body language. He didn't like that play. He didn't like it. He didn't like it one bit. He didn't lab for that. Look. Look at that body language. Sometimes you have to see, because Jay's, look, and Jay's grooving. Now, but as we continue this, I want to know what you guys think is in Jay's playlist right now. Does he have Bust Down Tatiana on? 
Does he have Bust Down Tatiana on that playlist? Let me know. What does he have? Now I'm feeling good. I feel like the Jay himself dream is alive right now, Jay. Look at this. Look at this just absolute lie cheating and stealing for a touchdown. And the stick work. Just beautiful. Now I'll be real. Joe Thomas is a fat piece of shit. I love Joe. Look at him move. But he's finding somebody. He's finding somebody. Boom. Sitting on the ground. So here we go. Now back to Journey's Lombardi Packers defense. Jay played absolutely phenomenal run defense. I felt like he was cool. If he if he didn't fall in the backfield with his user, Journey's Lombardi Packers run offense was stopped. Now another thing I want Jay did a lot of this match coverage. Now, I, chat it's a lot of great man players in here in this chat as he lurks the shit out of Journey. Lurks the absolute dog shit out of Journey. Like, you really got lurked by Jay. Like, absolute lurked the hell out of him. Like, this might be the worst lurk in the history of MCS. Jesus. And look at look at Journey. Journey is defeated right now. Journey is defeated. Look at him. He he sees it. Journey sees I'm, I, I'm going to lose to Jay. Oh, my God. How am I going to stop this touch this jet sweep with this is what he's thinking here comes the jet sweep here comes the jet sweep look hold up look at journey's face right here look that is a man that got lurked this is a get lurked face right here oh this, look at it oh this is the oh no oh <laughs> oh, for real. So Journey does this pick now what is it going through his face right now he's saying damn how am I now he's just going to Jet sweep me the whole game with Joe. What can I do? Look. And Chet, I want you guys to tell me how many times Jay came back to the play that got Journey scared. He never ran it again. Not once. Now, Miro, it was looking dark right here. Now, this should go to the two-minute warning. Now, Jay is such a liar, stealer, scumbag that he bluffs him. He bluffs him here. Because... At home, as a J fan, as a J fan, Henry, I'm thinking we're going to the two-minute warning. We're going 10-7 at halftime. Journey already lost the timeout. But Jay's a scum. J Jay's, he tries to sneak, quick snap him. Maybe Journey's not ready because I'm thinking he's taking. And he goes for a quick snap when he didn't need to. Did not work out for him. I liked it, though. I liked it. <laughs> he, tried to, he, tried to, he tried to sneak him. Like, maybe if he would have put his controller down, it would have worked a little bit better. But we get to a third and three here. Runs the little dive right here. Lamar fights. Now, what do we do here, chat? And Journey uses a timeout. Now, that being said, if he would have waited to run that second play. Now, chat, we talk about, uh, you know, we talk about what you call all the time. If he would have ran, took this to the two-minute warning. Now, this stretch... Would have made Journey call a timeout. We'd be sitting at 1 minute and 20 seconds on the clock right now. That's what we'd be sitting at, 1 minute and 20 seconds. But, Jay, you know, you can't wear a hat like that and have long hair and, you know, and not have, have balls. You just got to have nuts. You can't come to the man tournament looking like this and forget your nuts at home. So he's going to go ahead and go for it. I support it. Now, the one thing about Panther Heavy, God forbid it's hard as shit to stop this shit for nothing. Do we agree, chat? It's hard as hell to stop it for no gain. You almost have to get super lucky. That's one of the best things about it is that it's hard to stop for no gain. Now, if you're Jay, we are in milk mode. Milk mode all the way. Jay looks relieved. He's feeling good. Every time you see Drenny, he looks like he's not having any fun. The Disney movie is over. Are we going back to the money play? Now, not only did he not go back to the money play, look where we're snapping the ball. 20 seconds left. Oh yeah, uh, we'll get to that, Skimbo. We'll get to that. Was that this? Was that this drive, or was that when? When? When was the click on lineman shit? Was it for the fourth down? No, it wasn't. It was later in the game. I thought it was later in the game. It was on uh, on the fourth on the no. Oh yeah, there it is right there. Look. 
The Disney. Y'all think I'm lying about this journey shit. When is that ever not a call? What? What? Chat, what? Look at Journey has the feel. <laughs> Journey's before snap face might be crazy. Look, he even does the ooh. Look, he hits him with a ooh. Look. Oh, no, it's not playing. Hold on. Why, why is Journey watch? Ooh. <laughs> Doesn't get the penalty. And he gets the first down. But then, all right, so I want to know as we see this play right here, and we all think this is going to be the toss flip. Journey is scared. He puts Tillman over here. But for me, why are we snapping at 20 seconds, dude? I, I, for, I guess I guess you can always take the clock down and to score, maybe you need more time. But you have your three timeouts, man. Worst case scenario is we are 10-7 at halftime, chat. Right? Is that not the worst case? If you're Jay, the worst case scenario is 10-7 at halftime. So we're snapping at 20 seconds. We're going fake. And look at Journey's user. I don't, maybe Journey is really this good at football that he's queuing the guards and he's looking at the guards and who's pulling. But if, if this happened to me after what happened in the first quarter, my user is over here. Am I the only one in the chat? Oh, he was hesitant. He just, somebody shedded the hell out of him. Where do you see the bad run stick? I guess he could have ran, could have cribbed that. Nah, he, nah, so you don't see Tillman? You don't see Super Tillman? Nah, he couldn't have cribbed that. Oh, yeah, I go outside. Oh, God damn. Hold on. <laughs> I didn't see Joe Thomas. <laughs> Hold on. Joe Thomas killed somebody on this one. Oh, you can't get outside of this guy, though. That, I guess he could have went outside. Holy shit. He could have went outside. Yeah, Dion would have tackled him, honestly. Nah, he he's not scoring a touchdown on that. You know, them Bard and Tillman, he not y'all 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 made it too much. Cause Dion would have tackled him for no gain if he went outside, really. But Joe is killing people, honestly. But now we relax. We're letting some clock run. I like we're letting the clock run. Now this is the play of the game, and this is why Journey won the championship. Um, but we talked about earlier. Remember when Jay saw it and what you call it, saw it and threw it. Now this one I understand. Maybe you want to wait until he gets the sideline so you can get out of bounds. Maybe you get more yards if you get out of bounds, right? But you could also throw it right away. You still have all three of your timeouts, you know. But I understand him waiting and trying to get to the sideline, right, Chet? You know. I guess he did have every player open. Like, I want to see who's covered on this play. This guy's covered. This guy's open. This guy's open. I mean, just... And just because Journey's playing the most shit defense. Because, I mean, it's a shit offense. So, you got to play shit defenses. He's playing cover three. Cover four. Uh, run defense, I guess. Nobody in the middle of the field. Hard flat right here. Just an easy click on. Make the play. Boom. Picked off. That's a man that, that's the face of a man that just lost the game. Yeah, he should have just lead blocked with Joe Thomas. Yeah. Joe, come on, Joe. Yeah. Ain't those a pick. But honestly, uh, as bad as the play was for Jay and as bad as this drive has been for Jay, that's a great play by Journey. Um We all try it. We don't always get that guy. Sometimes you get a lineman, but you keep trying, honestly. No, it was a good play. Wesley was. I mean, it was a good play. It wasn't like, oh, my God, the best hour, but it was a good play. You know. And we have Drenny Disney. Now, this is when Drenny just Drenny just holds on to the Disney click kicks on kicks in. You know, the Disney's going to kick in eventually. And, and, and if we get back to this, I don't think Drenny does anything right here. Oh, Jay didn't give anything up right here, did he? No, nah, he, he bagged shit. Okay. That was that. Now, I'll be honest. As Jay gets the ball, like I said, now Ghost had some better plays. 
Well, Journey is Disney. Yo, y'all don't understand how many eight-year-olds watch Journey play Madden. Like, y'all don't have to understand it. Journey was streaming earlier. If you guys don't follow Journey on Twitch, get it done. His link is below. It probably won't be below, but I'm just saying it's below. Just go on Twitch and search Journey. He's probably the only Journey in the world. But follow him. He was on Twitch, and there was people in there I've never heard of before. It was like it was like birthday cake thirty eight was in the in, it, it was one of those. Like for real, birthday cake thirty eight was in the stream. You know what I'm saying? Unicorn f- f- player, unicorn player thirteen. You know what I'm saying Lego master, master builder, shit like that. That's who was watching Journey play, and I'll be like they watch him. I'm saying I, I don't understand why like. I'm saying Journey definitely uh, I'm telling you the Disney starts kicking in and we could start watching this for Disney plays uh wait we didn't really go back to the squiggly till it was time Chad we we don't see a lot of squigglies as we see a dot right here to Lee Smith we get the fourth down maybe he looks go squiggly yes this is his money play is squiggly route how do you guys feel about the squiggly route being the money play you guys are telling me it's tough. This is the money play. Out route, squiggly route, post. This is it. Every time he needed to play, he went to this. But I'm telling you, did he punt? Okay, he punts. Okay. But I'll tell you, this is the money play. And he don't like it that much. Because if you don't run it on fourth and five, you don't run it. And there goes Journey's brother. I wish I had a brother I could play for and get into the leaderboards and then get a free couple thousand bucks. I want to get a brother. No, Jay did not run that wildcat play. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. The Journey family has pretty conservative drip. Uh, Journey, dude, Journey has drip. Jesse, let me tell you, when he's not, when Journey is not playing Madden, he has some drip. I'm gonna be honest, but he he just Journey's not stupid. I tell y'all think Journey, y'all think Journey's a little slow, like outside of Madden. No, he knows how to play into this Disney role. I will also tell you guys, bro. There is not worse defense in the world than match. Like, there's really not worse defense than match. There's really not. I just want to see. I want to know, especially, like, which player is not open here? Especially with, uh, am I tripping? Do y'all think this match is good? Like, like I, first of all, I feel like they don't know what he don't know what the hell is going to happen. I feel like B is going to be open regardless. A is open. You know, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, especially with these short, but you're not going to man up any of these corner routes or post routes. I feel like B is going to be open, right? In my line chat, he could throw B right here. I don't know. I love going for the pick right here too, Chad. Gotta love. Not that he could do anything, but man, you just got like this is one of those please Jesus. This is definitely a please, a please Jesus situation. <laughs> like the nerve to press Y. <laughs> like the nerve to press Y. <laughs> like what? I feel like he could throw to every person on that play. I don't. I don't know how. Just give yourself a chance. <laughs> Yo, he, he gave himself a chance. Up, oh, this is when the Disney starts kicking in. You see that the Disney start gives him an auto. Journey has the best run stick ever. That's what they say. Journey has the best run stick ever, right? And then what they tell me, Journey's run stick is crazy. Let's, let's watch it again. Journey has the best run stick ever. That's why he's good. Right into a fat fucking still, bro. I tell y'all fucking kidding me the shit i gotta hear bro i say it's like it's like these eight-year-olds don't see it now jay's in a hole you know we're going squiggly we got stopped the first play let's go squiggly i want to see the squiggly dots i'll be honest this we did not throw to the squiggly guy until it was time and he was super bagged I'm trying to tell y'all about the journey shit. Like, y'all think I've been playing. Like, yo, I, every time I play journey, he fucks me up. And I I, I be thinking it's because I'm ass. 
But then I'll be thinking like, no, oh, it's really some like look at his D tackle on three four. Like look, Chad, look like look at like what? Luckily he's a shitter, bro. This squiggly route is letting me down big time. Like this squiggly route has really just let me down every time I've seen it on the field. Journey's bumping the shit out of it. He stops. Bro, I'm telling you, man. Like, Journey really be fucking me up because he he got the best inside zone ever. Like, yo, you can have inside zone defense that works for everybody. Here we go. Jay with the money on the line. We're going squigglies here, boys. I like this right here, though. He went with the out route over here. Good pass lead up. Good rack catch. Good rack catch. Get a couple extra yards. Get those feet in. And go back to Lamar. We got the time to look. I'm telling you, Drenny has the body language of a man that doesn't want to be there. He was who we thought he was, Jay. And you let him off the hook. You want to crown his ass? Then crown his ass. No, no run defense works on Drenny. Ask Jacoby. Lombardi Packers. Lombardi Packers. He don't do nothing different. Hey, biting your nails is childish. Chat, anybody still bite? Oh my god. Look look at the look at the hit stick animations. How many hit sticks animations have we seen? He got a hit stick through a body on this play. What? Somebody just killed Lamar Jackson. Bro, I'm trying to tell you all. Yo, y'all really need to watch Journey's games. Seriously. Y'all need to watch and like, not watch. I'm talking about like watch them. Journey games might all be on the podcast. Like, we might have to break these down. Okay. Back to the squiggly. He's looking for it. He's going to throw it. Not remotely open. <laughs> I mean, when you got a 13 zone player catching the ball or swatting the ball, just not it, bro. He should just put him on an in route. Like, what was wrong with an in route? If he puts him on an in route, he catches it, gets five extra yards. But we trusted the squiggly. Now we have to stop the Lombardi Packers. And look, Journey gets drugged forward for an extra two yards. I just want y'all to see what I see, you know? Big stop there by Jay. Can he hold the door? Are we going back to match coverage? Yes. Oh, what a laser beam. Did he playmaker him that fast? Oh, no, that was just an out route, huh? He changed that at the last second? I mean, I feel like Jay didn't cover anybody this whole game. Once again, another play. Like, who, like, who is in, like, what zone, like, what zones are we in right now, chat? Who is covered? And that's the game because he gets on the field goal range. Falls down like a smart human being. GG's. Hey, listen. Journey's route combos. Uh, listen. But but Wesley, you see Journey's bullshit two posts. Look. Like y'all think. Bro. They, and, and the chat, and it, I'm telling you, Master Builder 38 be like, Journey's a mastermind. My man had two posts like this the whole game. Pick one. That, pick one. Jay didn't cover either of them fuckers. Like, this, hey, Journey, what's your money play? Put the X up. That's what Journey ran. Master Builder 38. Put the X up. Yo, when in doubt, put the X up. One of them fuckers going to be open. Bugs is Disney too. Bugs is the black Disney. He's like, they try to make it, you know, biracial or so, you know, so, or multiracial or, you know what I'm saying? They try to include everybody. Like, think about a movie, a Disney movie, chat. Think about a Disney movie where there's one black person. Like Goldberg from the Mighty Ducks. They didn't really want to put him on there, but they had to put a black guy on there just to, you know what I mean? To, to get a wider audience. That is Bugs. Bugs is Goldberg. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Bugs is affirmative action. Disney's not dumb. 
Like, fuck. I'm telling you, think about, I'm telling you, it's tons of stuff with, like, one black person. I swear to God, Hey Arnold only had, whatchamacallit, only had Harold. What's that his name? Her- no, Gerald, right? Gerald? Who, I'm telling you, they're, they're, yo, Skeeter from Doug, he was the only black person, Skeeter. You know what I'm saying? There's definitely there's definitely movies. There's definitely Disney stuff where there's only one black person. I'm telling you, Disney, no, books will never get be easy, bro. Be easy, dude, cuz listen. Books might get be easy from the white guy. Cuz the white guy is just uh, he don't know books. But the the black guy, he's he's been around to know that books is this shit is all a fraud. Like, he knows the real, but like, he already knows. Because it's no, like, he already knows that Bugs not going to cap. He doesn't need Be Easy. The white guy might be a little afraid of Bugs. He might hit him with the Be Easy. You know what I'm saying? Wesley, you don't, it's over for you. You, you don't just become Disney. You know what I'm saying? You got to, see, you already got, you already, people already know you're not Disney. Henry is, Henry's got a shot. He's got an unthreat. Henry has the most, Unthreatening name in the world. He's a black guy with glasses and an unthreatening name. He's got all it takes. That's that's what you need. And he's 16. Bro, he is, I'm telling you, watch his games. They're not stupid what, what they do. Watch his games. I'm telling you. Henry's 5'6, got the glasses, has no facial hair, you know. His name is, if his name was Hakeem or Malik or Jamal, you know what I'm saying? That's not, he wouldn't be Disney, but Henry can be Disney. Try and tell you guys, pay attention, watch his games. Drenny, I'm telling you. (laughs) No. Uh, Wesley, no, I mean... Yeah. Kiv was Disney at first. No, Kiv wasn't Disney. Kiv lost to Disney when he spazzed at D. Jones. When he's like, you fucking suck! When he was getting blown out. Ah, oh my God, I wish the podcast was on back then. God, I got I got But listen, I wish the podcast. Remember that? Yeah, the podcast was an on one. You fucking suck, D. Jones! That's when Kiv went out. Kiv, Kiv was no longer Disney. Nah, he was just young at that point. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, we got to talk about this Bugs game. We Like, I'll be honest with y'all, man. I root for, like, Bugs go with Clef, he go with Skimbo. Like, these guys I root for. But i am be real. It was kind of funny watching Bugs and them dumbass glasses and that big-ass do-rag. Cause bugs, bugs don't get a regular size do rag. That fucker's for he got the extra large. He can't get them from the poppy store. Cause his shit, I can't lie. You don't notice how big his cranium is until he put the do rag on, and it's shiny. Like holy shit. But for me, it was kind of funny watching him get popped with them dumbass glasses on. Cause I'm, the glasses kind of look regular size. The glasses kind of look regular on his regular stream. But when you put them on the big stage, dude, these glasses were like this. He better seen everything. And he was still throwing picks. Am I lying with Yo, these glasses are this damn big. Then, for some reason, Boogs and Evil Ken should have switched jersey sizes. 1,000%. Boogs got an extra large jersey on. You know what I'm saying? He got a do-rag on. I'm telling you, the white be easy guy was a little bit afraid of books. The streets, people that haven't, they might have thought books was actually a little hood. But we watched this game. Now I will tell you, my this little guy, EJ, he was kind of laser and shit, chat. Can we agree? He was kind of laser and shit. There really was no kind. He he was laser and shit. 
Now, what we have, we have to set the tone of this game. I will be out. Congratulations to my man Bugs. We'll be out there, San Fran, hoping he wins his first belt. He looked really good after he got out of this game, and he played somebody that never played the game. Like, look, somebody has never seen a fade route in his life. Bugs popped that shit. So I'm glad he recovered from these first game jigger jitters and went ahead and really uh, I mean, he opened up the he opened up the offense game two, game three or game one. My man DJ, another listen. The, I feel like the younger you look, the better off you chances are to win. So I'm starting to feel that way. Boogs has this chin hair that's like, dude, come on, man. Not having a beard ain't for everybody. You know what I'm saying? You was cool with the little Boogs was cool with the uh Boogs was cool with the little uh the little chin the little beard, the little goatee, all that. He was cool with that. That was his wave. Now he's getting crazy. Now this guy was late. Now now let's go back to uh Ain't really nothing to go back to, really. Ain't nothing to see. This is the end of the game. Now, but like I said, this is DJ I'm saying Disney Jr. You might be right. Now, I'll tell you this right now. This is his first event. Now, this kid honestly looks like he's a teenager. You know, I don't know how old he is. If anybody in the chat knows DJ, if you're in the chat, thanks for supporting. I don't know. I've never seen this person. I, I'm, I, I'm, he's obviously a PlayStation dude. I don't know him. Um... 19. Okay, so he's young. His first event, right? As he lasers for the game. Game is... And Boogs got the lean back like, bro, I really lost this little kid. I got my do-rag on. I got these dumbass glasses on. I got half a beard, and I lost to this 19-year-old child. He's sick. Look how... Bro, he's sick. Because in, in his head, all he hears is me laughing at his dumbass right now. This is Dubby's going to laugh at my dumbass right now. That's what he says. That's what he's thinking. Damn. Damn. His big ass, he want to throw these glasses off. Like, he's sick right now, chat. Like, these big ass, he like, damn, I put this do-rag on for nothing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I got these big ass $100 glasses to look like an asshole. You know what I'm saying? Now, this kid, he don't really, you know what I'm saying? It's not about, he has, I'm, let me move this over a little bit. It's not that he hasn't been in this situation. He hasn't been on a situation in the big stage. I'm saying so he has all three timeouts. Run the ball, put on conservative, get the ball to the middle of the field. Nice little run there. He ran to the right. That's okay. Now, how would we do this chat? I would probably just come out and field goal right now. That's what I would do. Boom, field goal, make him waste his last timeout. Right? Smart right here. DJ wanna type in the chat and he not subbed. I can't can't do it, man. We'll talk about it later, bro. Can't listen. DJ want to type in the chat. All right. Oh, get them what's up. Oh, my man Postman Jones out here showing the love. See, I see. No, I mean that's how I feel a little bit. I mean, we got support. How how are you not sub to the podcast? That's one. So we get to this point. Yeah, he got five dollars, man. Big ballers, man. Appreciate all y'all that are subbed, man. I want I want to do something more for my. You know what I'm saying for myself. Now here we get here. Let's hear. It. Now, let's be honest here, chat. This guy has no fucking clue what DJ is talking about. He's got no clue. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. What? They're gonna make a field goal? Different. There's ice? There's ice oh, in no, this? No, no. Do Let me tell you this right now, chat. EA needs to have a rule. DJ, there he is. Congratulations on the run. Should have won. You got cheated to hell. But anyway, chat. Let me tell you this. But let, let's come home real quick. Let, let, let's, let's get right here. Let's get right here. Because cause this type of thing that, that makes me angry. We need a rule. This needs to be the rule. If you can do this shit in the game, you can do it on the stage. That's the rule. That's it. Matt Marcou needs to come out, go on Man League Ops, make the video. This is the rule for ice field goals. If you can do it, do it. If you can avoid it, avoid it. And fix the goddamn game. That's it. Make the rule for it. Because Mo did the shit to win the belt. We talked about it on a podcast. If you can do it in a game, you can do it. That's it. There needs to be a rule. Period. From the beginning of the year to now. There needs to be a rule. Because then, fucking Larry here, this this damn the Be Easy guy, 
This guy, because honestly, this guy knows what he's talking about a little bit. I'm be honest. DJ really kind of don't know what he's talking about either, right? But this guy, Larry, has no goddamn idea what's going on. No idea. If there was a rule in place, Larry would know what to do. Right, Chet? Am I wrong? He would know what to do. But because there's no rule, my man DJ is speaking Chinese to Larry right now. And here's the worst part. Larry, they got to kind of seem to know what they're talking about, right? So they just confusing my man even worse. Oh, what the fuck, dummy? Yeah, so I can like, call the play. I can run the ball and then call timeout and kick the field and I'm good. Let me double check. Boog shaking like a motherfucker. Look at this. Yo, have you ever seen a human being shake like this? Hold that big ass osmosis water. Look at this shit. His wife ain't letting him play the game no more this year. I can call the play. His wife is not letting him play video games because he lost to DJ. Look at him shaking like shit. Oh, scared ass, man. Pretty sure he's Look, now Matt Marku. Here come Matt. Now, does anybody have any. Listen up. How many field goals has Matt Marku kicked in his life? Chat. Give me the number of how many field goals Matt Marcou has kicked in his life from childhood to now. Give me the number. Matter of fact, I don't even know if he watches the game. I don't know if he watches the game. He has no fucking clue what's going on. None. What? What? Yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah, they're going to allow him to run the ball. And he's not, he, did, yet he didn't bring the field goal so unit out. Yeah. So, uh, so, so. And Bugs, meanwhile, Bugs is in fucking misery because he know he lost. Bugs knew he lost. Bugs want to take, check. Bugs want to take off the do-rag and them stupid ass glasses right away. He's hot, shaking, pissed. He know everybody going to kill him. Me included. Now I'm the first motherfucker to kill him. Not until he get home and he calm down and he reach out to me first, though. Because, you know, I won't reach out to you. I, I know you grieving a little bit. But once you reach out, <laughs> God damn. So, let me tell you. But y'all have no idea how sick Boogie is. Because I can't express the, the sickness in Boogie's stomach right now. Like, there's no food in his stomach. There's no food, but the sick, like, y'all have no, I, I'm thinking about the next move. Y'all have no idea the sickness in his stomach. Like, the, yo, like, just the, Bugs is hoping, like, Bugs is like, I hope Matt is so dumb we restart the whole game or something. I'm telling you, Bugs, <laughs> like, I hope Matt is so dumb we take the ball back to the 50. I swear to God. Look at this fucking collar on Mark Koo. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so you, um, if you kick it, you have to be ice, um, okay. but you can't, you can't decide if you run up another play. Okay, and if we want to play a cartoon, you kick it, that's cool too. Question mark is there, huh? What? But you can't you can decide to just run another play. Okay, and if we're running play a cartel and kick it, that's cool too. What? Yeah. Uh yeah, because the answer to that is yes. Okay. Just you can't avoid you can't avoid the ice. If you kick the field goal, you I can't avoid the ice. What the hell does that mean? Okay. Right. But I can run a play? Got it? Yeah. Okay, so poor kid. Matt Marcou coming out the back. Not too many times you got the commissioner come out and give you official ruling. So, Maybe it doesn't as we start this, chat, let's come home now. Let's come home. Let's come, come here, chat. Come here. Now, first of all, you can't avoid ice. 
My, now, Mar Marku has, this is another thing that makes him, he has no idea how people used to avoid ice or how people avoid ice now. He has no fucking idea. Right? No idea. Now, this, now, Bulls called timeout when he came out of field goal, which we all would have. Right, chat? We all would have. And DJ doing the right thing. He going to call timeout. But if you do call a play and call Listen, timeout, this I is 1,000% the right thing to do. The, he goes heads and runs. Bug, so it might not be ice. I don't, uh, look. I don't know. I'm not 100%. He should be able to run a play here. Should be able he to has run three the timeouts. Run the ball. Yeah, all Marco don't know no fucking. Marco don't know how to avoid ice. He don't know. He don't even know about audibles. He don't know shit. And he don't want to ask. He does try. I don't know. Just run the ball up the middle. Call my timeout again. Hands it off to Pollard. He loses a yard. I don't know if that's going to be Take it down. I'm a three second man. I don't know why. Now, I can't lie. I was kind of shook right here when, like, everything disappeared. Runs the ball. Hands it off so I don't want this to disappear he right now. Like, why does this disappear right here? Gonna make it a you know what I'm saying, Chad? I can't see the time. It came back right away, but that kind of tripped me out. I'm a three-second man. I don't know where you got. Are you a two-second? Chad, let me know if you're a two-second person, a one-second person, a four-second person. Me, I'm a timeout at three seconds. I'm a three-second, right? I'm a three-second. I don't know where y'all at. Are you a two-second guy, a four-second guy? I'm a three. I like to go for the three. Drenny, you're a one. I think you're lying. That's how I know. That's how you know the Drenny said one. So Disney has never cheated him where he can't call timeout on time. I'm Listen, it's, it's coming home. That's how you know Disney just cheats. Because the rest of us, if the rest of us regular human beings tried to call timeout at one, huh, GG's, game over. We're going to overtime. There we go. So we have, we have what you guys said. YouTube, let me know if you time out at one second, two seconds, or three. I'm a three second man myself, in, in, in multiple ways. Ha. Anyway, so this man called second three time out. Field goal play. It does avoid Come on, field goal. So. Now, this is what I asked you. Does anybody listen? Listen, listen, because this makes me mad. Is there anybody in the building in the stream right now? Is there anybody that, whether you play Madden, whether you work for Madden, whether you used to play Madden, whether you're here just to laugh at bugs, because that'd be a pretty good damn reason to be in the podcast. But does anybody really know whether this field goal is going to be iced or not? Does anybody know the science behind this shit? Does anybody know? Seriously. It's a yes. Or, does anybody really know what's going to happen? Because I, I honestly, I don't. But I'm not a nerd. I don't really know shit about Madden. I really don't know any of the intricacies. But do you guys have any idea, like, what, what's the rules for ice? If he runs a play between the timeout now, is the ice gone? Seriously. So he called timeout. I think Journey full of shit right now. No, seriously. Because I don't know. And I honestly feel like I feel like man players really don't have the best idea out it, of it. Yeah, some people say I heard a 10 second rule. I heard a bunch of different rules. Because he ran a play and then called timeout. That's my saying. Okay. Kicker awareness? What? All right, y'all. That's been real, bro. This part. My man said kicker awareness. That's what I thought. Like, if you run a play. So, honestly, I feel like I'm getting a bunch of different answers. You know, I really am. No, but seriously. So, for me, it's like, yeah, if you, like, you really never know. But, and this poor kid, this is the biggest game he's ever played. Bugs, he played a couple games bigger than this, but this is a pretty big game for Bugs, too. You know, he, he played a Final Four, I think, one time, or a Final Six. No, he played Final Four one time. Um, So, big game. But this is the first time on stage, so he want to make sure he don't get yelled at. But after talking to those goddamn buffoons, I would say, like, at some point you'd be like, yo, these guys have no fucking idea what you're talking about. When you literally look at the commissioner, ask him a question, and he stares at you like, bro, kick the field goal. He must have he must have had the six, the die. Oh my god. The kicker awareness. Hey. So we get here. He his own timeout, so I don't think there he should get be ice. any ice available. Yeah. Not only 
Other thing that we have not talked about here, Chet. This gives Books time to put Deion Sanders as his kick as his kicker guy, as his blocker. Books being the savvy veteran, he had the glasses, the do-rag is tight, he could think about shit. Things were moving fast for him. He was thinking about how his life his wife was not gonna let him play Madden no more this week because he didn't make the money. You know what I'm saying? But he thought if I put Dion there, I could block the kick. So during this timeout, where poor fella DJ is talking to the commissioner who doesn't know what the hell is going on, Boog says, hmm, let me put Dion a kicker. I know y'all can't see the screen. I see the same thing y'all seeing. Relax, y'all not missing shit. Well, because. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. There's no I'm not iced. Now this motherfucker pop up. Like, he don't want on defense. Hold up. He pop. Look how he pop up. Like, he on defense. I see. He called his own timeout, so I don't think there he should get be any Look. iced available yeah. because. Yeah. There it goes. What? No Why am I not iced? Motherfucker, this bitch is going through the field goal post so damn fast. What? 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 I see. He called his own timeout, so I don't think there he should get be any ice available. Yeah. Cause look, yeah, we're in this situation before. We're all in this situation, no. right, Chad? The number one thing you are thinking about is, I hope I'm not iced. I'm hope I'm not iced. I 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 hope I'm not iced. I'm hope I'm not iced. I hope I'm not iced. I hope I'm not iced. That's all you're thinking. And he looked back like like he like he like he got caught stealing. Like he dead ass looked back like yo I got caught stealing. This is I got caught stealing. It does avoid ice. So I see. He called his own timeout, so I don't think there should be any ice available because look he got caught stealing. Books is like yo, just let me lose. It's it's not. Now, Larry got to call Matt back. The only way can be yeah. ice is What's this ice? Here come Big Collar Matt. <laughs> he got the rule book in his collar. Now, now Matt looks at Larry. Because, yeah, Larry got the fucking answers. Yeah. Larry got him <laughs> from playing CFM last night. Larry got... Look at Matt. Look at Larry. Look. Larry, what do you think, Larry? Yeah, oh, yeah, he should kick it. <laughs> what? Field goal, which we will never know. I burned the timeout. Did, did he check, check his plays? I mean, did he check his plays? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Matt. He watched them call his plays. What the fuck is this? Like, what? Matt, yo, Matt gonna turn to Larry. Did you watch his plays? What the? What is Larry's job really? That's what we need to know. So, well, we're gonna have a delay of game. I'm this is certainly I didn't, I didn't added drama. I swear, he's. I swear to God, the drama as well. Ah, oh, it's taking away from yeah, the drama for sure. It, it, it is what it is. All of us with the play. We can have a semi Live in a VAR. At this point, Boogs is like, I know, no, this is, this is my point. At this point, Boogs is like, Boogs, I don't know. Boogs is kind of like, because I'll tell you what, Problem would probably take this and run with it. Problem would probably be like, oh, hell no, he's supposed to be iced. We not kicking this till he iced. We run the system. Boogs kind of, he really ain't know how to deal with this, honestly. Because Bugs, Bugs knows like, nothing, it's nothing I can really do. Well. But shit, they're going to give me, if they're going to give me something, they're going to give me a little leash, I might have to run with it. Yeah, there it goes. There's no ice. I, this is just, bro, y'all have no idea how funny I think this interaction between Larry, the clipboard guy, and the commissioner of Madden. The commissioner. This isn't another Larry. This is the commissioner of the MCS. That's who this is. It's, not, it's not not. Ice. The reason he's not ice is because he called his own timeout. The only way he can be yeah. ice is by the In my books, timeout. this is fair. Yeah. Not he looks at Larry. This is where the rules. If, I mean, you didn't, you didn't do anything to avoid it, so no. we, we play as a. Okay. I mean, but if he came out and fake field goal, which we will never know, I burned the timeout. Did, did you check? I mean, it's, it's really no way to tell if he don't show play or anything like that. I call timeout, you can check it again. So. I ain't talking about Well, we're going to have a delay of game. I mean, like, I guess this is certainly I didn't, I didn't added drama so, and yeah, taken away from a little bit of the drama as well. Uh, it's taken away from yeah, the drama it, for sure. It, it is what it is. It's, it's all of us just look at the, 
Play. We can have a semi. Live in a VAR instant replay kind of world, and they're just trying to figure out because you know there has been th you know things happening where guys call timeout during the kick meter, things right. like that. So there's a super sensitivity now to the competitors about making sure they're doing things the right way. And for a guy being only 19 years old, he wants to make sure that hey, I'm going to kick a game-winning field goal. Am I doing everything right here? It's my first yeah. time on the big stage. Yeah, I'm not doing everything right, bro. I'll tell you, man. Like I said, wise man once told me, man, you ask for forgiveness, you don't ask for permission. That means if you don't know, just do this shit. For real. Because if he kicks this field goal, bang, butter, he's advancing the tournament. What can Boog say? I want to redo? I want ice? Is that what he can say? Like, seriously, if he just kicked... What is the worst case scenario? Are they going to kick him out the tournament? He broke the rules. He's out? No, seriously. What? You got to ask yourself, man, a lot of what I do is like, what's the worst case scenario? A lot of what I do, what's the worst? And for DJ, what's the worst case scenario? That he make a kick and move on? They can't, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's back to the game. So after all this shit, can I kick it? Please, Matt Marku, can I kick it? With him kicking a field goal here, not iced. Yeah, DJ's doing nothing wrong. He's asking for what should be. Now, here go Bugs. After the delay of game. This is after the delay of game, chat. This is not before the delay. This is after he he declined the delay of game for the kid. I'm going to put Dion in. No more 10 caps. So we have Dion here, and I'm going to tell you this. I don't Listen, chat. I don't care what madness is. This should be a miss. What is it? 42, 49 yard field goal for the win. You missed this that bad. You know what I'm saying? You missed this that bad. You shouldn't miss this. Now, now he blocks this kick. Now, let me tell you something. Now, I've heard rumors, chat. Initiated. That's a good point. I've heard rumors. That when you miss a field goal this bad, it's easier to kick. Or it's easier to block. Do you guys think that's true? When you miss a kick, the worse you miss a kick, is it is it easier to block it? That's my point. Do you think it's easier to block when you miss a kick this bad? And I agree, it should be the case. You know what I mean? Because maybe that maybe that's equivalent to a bad snap or something like that where they could get home, you know? Do you guys think that's true? Do you and I, that's another thing. Kratobin says it's the situation. So do you guys think maybe the situation, is it easy to kick field goals at the end or block field goals in clutch situations like this? Is it easier to block them when they need the field goal? Like when is it easier to block? What do you think? You know? Situation and, and the kick. That's my point. And we can talk about this. I mean, block field goals, block field goals suck for competitive man players. They do. But this was probably the most exciting play for the viewers to watch in the whole MCS, right? Dion has the clutch trade. I don't know. Like for all of the Master Builder 38s that watch Bugs and Drenny play Madden, this was an exciting play. It's a 49-yarder. Oh Here what? comes the block. Let's go. We're hey, headed for overtime. No, no. Unless we get a return by no, Troy no. P. Oh <laughs> He's gonna cry. Let's go. Walk this oh up in regulation. Touchdown, go. Bugs. It's the craziest game of Madden of all time. And my. Bugs is moving on to the final. My God. What I'll a cry. crazy I'll ending to football. this game. Don't even go, Dion. The legend of Dugati. <laughs> oh, where the glasses go? My up? God. What a crazy ending to this game. Don't even go, Dion. The legend Damn. of Dugati. That's actually insane, Scott. I'll be sick. All right. Last person to call timeout. <clears throat> now let me tell you something. There shouldn't be. <gasps> it's a 49-yarder. Oh, oh, Here comes the ball. No, hold on, hold on. I watch out here the journey. <gasps> That's the same thing he did every when he goes off sides against Jay. That this little gasp that journey makes. Listen, it's the same thing he did the whole game versus Jay. Last person to call timeout. There shouldn't be. <gasps> it's a 49-yarder. Oh he Here comes the block. Let's go. We're Head headed up. for overtime. No, no. Unless we get a return by no, Troy no. P. Oh, my God. 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 Let's go. Walk this oh, up in regulation. Touchdown, Bugs. It's the craziest game of Madden 
Man, I was so bad for the kid, man. Bro, the Disney kicked in, bro. Like, it is, let me tell you another thing about this situation. I want, I like, it's another thing. Like, okay, you missed this kick, right? Say he misses it, right? Let me tell you something. These guys are sitting right next to each other. I will tell you this. Every field goal I've ever kicked when I'm sitting this close to somebody, I 1,000% am looking at their hands. I want to watch watch this kid's, like, his whole demeanor. Obviously, he missed it. I never missed the field goal, like, on a, the big field goal. So, but he, like, just leans back. He doesn't even look over. He just, like, lets it go. And he gets blocked. We're oh, headed no. for overtime. No, no, no. Unless we get a return by no, Troy no. P. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yo, I want y'all to hear DJ though too. Like, I don't know if y'all listen. No, listen. I don't know if y'all really listen to DJ during this five seconds. I don't know if y'all really like. I, this is what I want y'all to do this time, chat. I want y'all to watch him. I want y'all to watch him all the way. Nothing else. Don't look at Bugs, goofy ass. Don't look at. Uh, just watch DJ. This whole. I'm telling you. I wish I could mute everything but DJ. There should be. It's a 49 yarder. Here comes the block. We're headed for overtime no, no. unless we get a return by no, Troy no. P. Boys ain't want to curse and shit. What a sellout, bro. Like, for real. I can't. I can't do He said, let's fuck. Boys edit himself. Like, bro, y'all can't. This can't be. Bro. He said, let's fuck. Let's fuck. Oh, cover up my mic. The Disney Trades mic. Let's fuck. Ah. Y'all see how I cover his mic? Ah. 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 Let's fuck. Oh, oh my mic. Oh. Oh. My kid's watching. Get the Listen, kids, they, they just want us some money. We going on vacation, you hear me? Bro, that shit was bad. Bugs. And this is what pros been asking you guys. What's the luckiest thing y'all have seen? By far, that's the lucky. That is the luckiest shit we have seen. We've seen black field goals. Like, I remember S. Dello blocked a bunch of field goals. That was the luckiest shit to win. To single-handedly win a game that he lost. Like, that game was over. You know what I'm saying, chat? Bugs don't get cheated. When did Bugs get cheated, Blackie? What planet are you on that Bugs got cheated? Bugs got cheated. Bugs ain't got cheated. All right, so are we talking about group play games? I know we ain't talking about group play. I know that's not what we're doing right now. Are we talking about group play? Is that what we're talking about, group play? Or right, I'm done. I'm done here, chat. But Boogs, Boogs made it out of group. No, Bugs made it out. What what what, what y'all talking about, Matt? I don't know what tournament y'all talking about. The Madden Challenge? Jenny didn't win the last one, did he? I don't remember. I guess he did. I, I really don't remember. Yeah, y'all be... Oh, Bugs, y'all have no idea this shit, Bugs. Bugs cannot, like, can never complain about Madden. Like, literally, the luckiest shit in the world. Like, it's just, it's, it's, it's unfathomable, the shit he's gotten. Nah, man, Bugs, it's not even like, it, there's nobody even close. Like, it's, it's nobody, there's nobody even close to second place. I wouldn't even, there's not even a second place you could argue a bunch of, a bunch of different person, man. Like, for real, like, like, I don't even think, I, I can't even think of somebody second. You know what I'm saying? So, we're, so, so, we're talking about a drop pick. My man literally just won the tournament on, like, that was the single, I, I can't think of one lucky play that determined the whole game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Bugs versus Journey, you not, Journey, like, yo, Bugs luck cannot beat Journey's Disney. You know what I'm saying? 
Exactly. Fans got to understand. Like, y'all can't bring that up. So we're talking about one game where it's Disney versus Disney. Disney versus Disney crime cannot be brought into this discussion. Problem versus joke? Problem running kickbacks? Skimbo, you're not even close to Bugs. Like, bro. Skimbo, you're not even close. At this point, we really can't call another Madden player lucky. For real. There's not another lucky man player. There's us that play Madden, then there's fucking Bugs who gets lucky. That's it. Like, this shit, that shit was crazy. Because I'll ask you guys this too. We've seen some block kicks. How many block kicks have gone for a touchdown? That's what I want to know. Because I'm going to be real. My man DJ, <laughs> he had the brown paper bag out there. So I don't know. I might have liked DJ in overtime. User, that's what I'm talking about, man. He be talking crazy. How many have we seen run back for a touchdown? Man. Super lucky. Super bullshit, user. Super bullshit. That y'all think that field goal goes in. That's another question. I'm gonna ask you yes or no, chat. No, yes or no. Is it good or did he miss that field goal? With his accuracy. Now I've been well, I've said on this podcast a bunch of times, I think the accuracy should be more uh more whatchamacallit, more punishing. How about that? Way more punishing. And, and if you miss that bad, it should definitely be a missed kill goal. Do you guys think it goes in or he misses it? Yes, if it goes in. No, if he's going to miss it. Let me know. Good. Field goal could go down the middle. <laughs> Skimbo's not lying. Like for, I feel like every field goal goes down the middle. We don't even have one that like flirts with the upright anymore. I mean, the one thing about the blocks, now we can talk about another thing with the blocks. Are block field goals really that bad for Madden? Talk to me. Because as a competitor, you hate them. But as a viewer, and we all want to talk about what's good for Madden. What can make the viewership go up? Blase to blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what can make that better? And I think block field goals are pretty damn exciting. You know, that play was awesome. Like I said, for my man Master Builder 38, the bug sub, a Drenny sub, he wants to watch the block field goals. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like they have done a lot for you to avoid that, you know, and, and and especially at a live event because you can look at the motherfucker's fingers. You can damn near kick his seat. There's no, what's the rule? Why can't I kick his seat? Why can't I kick? Bug's legs aren't long enough to reach my seat, but I can kick his damn seat, right? Why can't I kick his seat that then like the field goal go? Matt Marcou don't know the rules. Hey, hey, Bugs would have said, man, he kicked my seat. Marku would have said, this is what it is. That's what he would have said. Yeah. Like, there's so much you can do to avoid ice. Or not avoid ice, avoid the block. You could have hit the field goal perfect. Like you guys said, it could have been closer to perfect. Would have been less likely to be blocked. You know what I'm saying, chat? So for me, uh, they definitely had tuned them down. But do you guys want them to get rid of the block field goals altogether? Should that be something only on sim mode, only on all pro? What do you guys think? Uh, for me, I think I think I like how it is. Bugs is definitely short. But there's like six tall Madden players in, in the community. There's like six. Madden players that are over six foot. Like, there's like six of us. Exactly. See, Skimbo said problem. You got to have some moxie. That's what they call that, moxie. You got to you be there before. And DJ had the opposite of moxie. What DJ did was like, I'm the dickhead that's doing everything I possibly can to get my field goal blocked. Or miss the field goal. Everything he can. Like the dumbest shit in the world he could do to get his field goal blocked. He did that. Me, I wouldn't have said shit. Kick the ball. Good game. Next round. The graph, yeah, that's won't work. Let's 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 agree. That's what people are. Let's agree to play with no abilities. Let's agree to decline offsides penalties. Let's th- let's agree. Like no, dude. People gonna do what they gotta do to get some money. Exactly, Wesley. Let's agree.
Nah, he ain't had morals. He just don't. He was just. He ain't had no moxie. Chat, you guys heard the word moxie. Moxie's a good vocabulary word. Make sure you guys use that moxie. Moxie. I think moxie is an important thing to have. You know what I'm saying? Moxie. The word of the day, a word of the podcast. Wit. You guys didn't know what the hell wit meant. Does it? Does it? Is there anybody? You guys have to know wit. I didn't think wit was like word of the day. Wit and moxie. There you go. Since you guys didn't know wit, people were say, "Ha ha!" You said with. Ha ha ha. There's a difference between wit and with. I said wit today, and moxie. There you go. Look it up. I don't know how to spell it. I'll be honest with you guys. Word of the podcast, Moxie and Lit. There you go. Word of the podcast, Moxie and Lit. All-star team up. Anyway, Chad, this was the podcast episode 57. I don't think I'm playing all-star team up. Um, Maybe not till later. Got a couple things I want to do. But I said, if you're on YouTube, hit the like button. Comment below. One, do you like block field goals? Do you miss them? Uh, do you love him? Do you have? Does Matt Marcou have any fucking idea how to play Madden? Like seriously, does he have any idea? That's what I ask you. Does he have any idea that you can come out and fake field goal and then audible to field goal and you won't be iced? Does he have any idea about that? Does he have any idea about Madden in general? Does he know that there's four downs? Does he know that? There, does he know that you can? <laughs> he's either going to run or he's either going to pass. Does Matt Marcou know that? Does he think there's a third option? That's what I'm asking. YouTube, I'm asking you guys that. Comment below, hit the like button. You guys, I'm getting over a thousand views on two, three hour podcasts every week. So I appreciate you guys, man. Um, A lot of people analytically put my podcast on the YouTube. Not that popping. You know what I'm saying? It's going to bring it down a little bit. But we're working on something to make it a little bit better. So all YouTube guys is going to make it a lot easier for you guys to watch the podcast and all the highlights. So if you're there... Hit that like button, comment below.